counting, we have completed propellant loading, both the methane fuel and the liquid oxygen on board Starship test vehicle number 11. T-minus one minute. We're T-minus 42 seconds. We're counting down. We are retracting the quick disconnect from the vehicle in preparation for launch in just over 30 seconds from now. T minus 30 seconds. Yeah. Good prevail cycles. T plus 33 seconds. Starship test vehicle number 11 ascending over Starbase in South Texas. One kilometer altitude. We've heard the call out. We're over one kilometer up. Views from the external camera on Starship number 11 looking back towards the Starbase facility in the fog in South Texas. Four kilometers altitude. T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to shut down the first of the three Raptor engines. plus two minutes, 21 seconds. You can see we have shut down the first of the three engines on time as planned.
T plus three minutes continuing to climb on power of two engines. We're past eight kilometers. T plus three and a half minutes. You can see with the camera view, we have shut down the second of the three engines as planned. We're now slowly climbing to the final 10 kilometer altitude on the power of the single Raptor engine. Once we're at Apogee, we'll hover shortly, shut down the engine as we flip over, and then descend back towards the landing pad at Starbase. 10 kilometers altitude. Coming up at T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers altitude, and we are getting dropouts on the camera, but we continue to get telemetry from the Starbase, from the Starship vehicle. While we're waiting to reestablish video connection with the vehicle, we have shut down the third of the three Raptor engines as planned. We're now beginning the horizontal maneuver back down to the landing pad at the Starbase facilities. As we get close to land, we will ignite the three Raptor engines, flip to vertical, and then land on the thrust of a single Raptor engine. T plus four minutes, 40 seconds and counting, and it looks like we've got some camera views back again. Six kilometers altitude. T plus five minutes, we're passing through five kilometers, a nice view from the exterior camera showing one of the flaps on the Downrange, Starship Test Vehicle, vehicle number 11. Two kilometers altitude. One kilometer altitude. T plus 545, we've just passed through one kilometer altitude, getting ready for the relay. We're back with you. As you can see from the uh, frozen camera view, uh, we lost the clock at T plus five minutes, 49 seconds. Looks like we've had another exciting test of Starship number 11. A reminder again, this is a test series to gather data on entry of the Starship vehicle uh, at subsonic speeds as it comes back to the landing zone. It does appear though that uh, another exciting test as we say, uh, we don't have any good camera views to share with you right now, so with that, we are going to bring the webcast to a close. Uh, we, a quick recap, we had the nominal ascent, we maneuvered to horizontal when we got to 10 kilometers, 
the entry. We had some nice views from the exterior camera showing uh, the flaps were quiet as we descended. But then we had the camera freeze up as we got into the engine ignition sequence. And so we're going to have to find out from the team what happened. But with that, we'd like to thank the team and bring the webcast to a close. And we'll be back with you with Starship, the next Starship test in the near future. And for those uh, who just joined us, uh, uh, the frozen view we saw on the camera doesn't mean that we are waiting for the signal to come back. Starship 11 is not coming back. Don't wait for the landing. Uh, we do appear to have lost all the data from the vehicle, and the team, of course, uh, is away from the landing pad. So we'll be out there uh, seeing what we had. Please follow us on social media for updates. But with that, we are going to bring the webcast to a close. Interesting flight, and as always with Star.